Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Katie. Today we're going to show you how to take a Bivy Plus 2, add it to our table for two, and create a table for four. What should we do first? Well, let's take this and move it this way a little bit just okay. to give us Make some more room. room. It's light and sturdy. All right, so I'm going to grab a leg. Thank you. And we're simply going to go through the same process of attaching a leg to a trough. I'm going to dock in here, make sure we're centered up. We have our tightening tool to connect the hex head driver a little more tightly. There it is. All right, so finishing tightening. Let's just put that in the trough. We'll need it in just a second. Now we're going to spin this around and dock the other end of the trough into the leg. All right, that's lined up. Oh, actually, it needs to come in a little bit more. There we go. Everything's lined up, lines up really easily. And again, you can use the alignment tab that's in there to kind of side it in. Perfect. Looks nice good flush. from here. Yeah. Now we're going to add a couple brackets on the sides, front and back, tops. And we'll have our table for four. Go. Let's go. All right, so our table for two just became a table for four. And we've also added a few things here that we thought we'd draw your attention to. One, uh, covers along the complete backside covering the pocket so that this is more of a now a finished top. And then we've also used a full front to back top on this side. So three of our sets here have pockets and this is just a full top. So a little bit of variety. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a rounded surface to the end here. The, there's a few mechanical things we'll explain. Uh, really simple intuitive stuff, but it just helps to go over. So starting with brackets, let's have that one right there. Um, first thing is, bracket, the smooth edge of the bracket faces outward, so it's going to go in place like this. It's going to lock into the side of the leg and be as far outboard as it possibly can. It's a couple important things. Also notice there's a dog-eared little tab here. Just want to make sure that's kind of loose before we put things together, because that's going to lock everything into place when we're done. We want to put a little downward pressure on, making sure we get that dog ear out of the way. We want to slide as far to the outside as it'll go, so as close to this direction as it'll go. Now we turn the dog ear down. Notice my arm is on the top of the bracket. Got some pressure on it, and I'm tightening up the dog ear. And this one's in place and ready to go. Do the same thing on the other side. So our brackets are in place. We're almost done. We just need the top. Notice in the top, like when we get the table top, there will be two knobs. We'll have to take those out. So let's do that real quick here. We'll put these far away. We'll need them almost immediately. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Now I'm going to spin the top around. Notice that the back bracket fits in cutouts, the brackets that are attached to the desk. Drops in place, and we're there. All we have to do is put in the knobs, and we're ready to go. Well, the half round top is on. It's ready to receive guests. Now we're going to put on the trunk, that little piece of storage we mentioned. This is probably the heaviest piece that yeah, it's probably assemble. the heaviest piece. So what I wanted to show you here is the brackets um, from which the trunk is suspended off the leg need to be removed first before you put it all back together. In other words, it ships with the brackets on just to keep them in place. So we'll set these aside a second. Once again, thumb screws. Can you take those, Katie? Yes, I can. So we'll gently remove the brackets. Sorry. I'm going to lift up on my end. You'll notice that the bracket is got a little lip up on the side. It holds the underside of the case. And then this lip goes into the slot in the leg. 
So let's put these in place on the leg. All the way to the edge? All the way to the edge again, exactly. Drops down. Now we can take the trunk. Okay. So lift that up, Katie, and just swing it up that way. Okay. So, storage compartment here, like a bookshelf and a little shelf, and then on the ends, on both ends in fact, a storage compartment. Great. Now we'll take the trunk. Let's drop this in place here. Oh, I see, because the holes exactly. and the brackets line up with the holes so in the trunk. I'm going to line the holes up with the brackets. There you go. I'll hold it in place. Okay. And if you would grab the thumb screws. It's really that easy. Thumb screws will come in from the back again, secure into the place. It's really important, of course, that uh, one, of this, one of us holds this while uh, the other gets at least one of the thumb screws in. Well, that's it then, Katie. We've got a bivy for four. Half round on one end, a trunk for storage on the other. I think this is where our work adventure begins. <laughs>